Hello, biomolecular consciousness transport mechanisms. Today, I'm Rob Chapman, and this is the Victory Richie Cotson combo. Uh, it's a fantastic amplifier. It's about time I told you all about it. <laughs> Before we commence upon the path of want, um, I should say that I was at one point uh, very involved with Victory in terms of I had a signature product and I'm no longer affiliated to them. We're obviously friends, all that kind of thing, but this is not a paid video at all. In fact, I bought this. I purchased it with my own hard-earned cash. <laughs> Definitely one of the best guitar players of all time in space and probably one of the best looking men and best singers and best people I've ever had the absolute fortune to hold hands with. Well, I shook his hands. <laughs> He's amazing. And this amp is a testament to the kind of thing that he does. It's smooth, creamy, silky tones. And that's really partly down to the amazing designer, Martin Kidd, who made this awesome, awesome combo. It's not too heavy. I mean, you can lift it with one hand quite easily if you're a, an average kind of person. I don't know what an average person uh, can lift, but I mean, I find it easy to lift this. So it's not too heavy. It's beautifully made. L lovely that the handle, everything is just like crispy cream, perfectly manufactured. There's not a single part that was wrong with it when I got it, it was perfect. Um, they did have to make it to order because they hadn't made so many of them at the time. But, you know, man, it's beautiful. Let's tip it to win it. Let's take a look and see what we got here. So, Richie Cotson combo. Um, it's got the high, it's got the low. Preheat is obviously a lie. It's a bit like red velvet cake. It doesn't really exist. You don't need to preheat your valves. Um, tremolo. Now, I love tremolo. It's a cool effect, but you don't need to have it. You can turn it entirely off. Or, of course, you can dial in the depth and the speed. <laughs> Master <clears throat> reverberation. Uh, is it valve? It's a valve reverb, but I can't remember whether there's a tra there is a tray. So it's a spring reverb. It's not a digi reverb. It's a real one. If you smack it, it'll clang, which is what we like. My one um, slight failing is that it's a dark sounding amplifier. That's fine because I normally run it around there. And then it sounds creamy, really good. Tons of gain in this. You can get a clean tone, but I think if you wanted a clean tone live, you'd have to gun that and have this run about there. So actually I was kind of wrong. It does do a very good loud clean. I just don't really do loud cleans. Forgive me, internet. Let's get, let's get comfortable. So on the back of the amplifier gives you all of the details. It's got a Celestian G12 in here, which is a really good speaker actually. Back in the Dorje days, I used to run a two, two 12 with a G12 uh, and a Celestian V30 and they were really good. Um, actually, the speaker is also a Celestian. So let me just check. Yeah, it's a G12M by Celestian. Um, <laughs> Here's another problem. I'm not just giving you all the good things and giving you the reality. You've got to get in and up. That's a bit of a pain in the ass. If I was touring this, I'd be very tempted to cut or remove this back panel for ease. Because, for example, there's a boost switch up here and the effects loop is up here. I'll give you a little glimpse. Hold on, there we go. Uh -huh. There you go. See, boost switch. Effects send and return, all that kind of stuff. 
it's a bit hidden. Now, there are benefits to having it hidden. One of them is that the inputs are never gonna get dirty. Um, you're pretty much guaranteed not to have beer spilt on them unless they th strategically projectile a beery beverage up it, which <laughs> I don't think is likely to happen. I mean, I've seen worse things happen on tour. Anyway, it's the Richie Cotson combo. It's really, really good. It is 50 watts of creamy shredness or crunchy kind of British 800 type tones. Highly recommend it. I absolutely love this crunch. This is the reason why I'm tapped out and I'm backed off on the volume. So you can immediately see this amplifier is designed to destroy. It's got such beautiful, creamy, smooth distortion. Let's push it a little bit more gain, a little bit more volume, and even just a bit less reverb. <laughs> Just to give you something different, I'm super low drop tune, got a tremolo obviously, to show you how the Richie Cotson combo handles low tunings. <laughs> Just sat here reviewing the footage, doing the edit, and absolutely cursing myself because I mentioned that it had a boost and I didn't um, use it in the demonstration. All of the gain is from this incredible combo, but not once did I use the gain boost that it comes equipped with, which is what I would normally use when I'm playing with it or gigging. I just, honestly, I got really excited. I was writing music and I completely forgot to add it on. If you step on this, it gives you a uh, gain. <laughs> so the way that works is if you've got lots of gain already dialed in, um, then you'll just hear more gain. If you have less gain dialed in, you'll hear volume boost and gain because it's affecting the preamp valves. It's a really good boost. Um, I normally perma have it on. <laughs> so it has a boost. I'm sorry I didn't include it. I hope you have an amazing day. Go check out the Richie Cotson combo. Love you guys. Take it easy. Chappers out.